Hello, welcome to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Financial and Operation Tutorial Series. In this video, I'll show you how to extend an EDT. Okay, so let's start. First, we'll understand the scenario and after that, we'll move to the practical example. So our scenario is here. The finance and operation app developer has been asked by the fleet management company to change their number entry field on the customer page and they are asking for the agency location code field only accept 12 digit and the company need to be able to enter 14 digits presently uh, agency location code field is actually taking 12 digit but the company needs uh, uh, it needs 14 digits because the company does not want to create a new field developer will create an extension for the agency location code edt in the visual studio so we have to change the size of the edt from 12 digit to 14 digits and then they don't want to create new field so that's why you have to uh, create an extension so that uh, we can change it from 12 digit to 14 digit as a size also we know that other than the size we can also change the label we can also change the help text okay so now in this video we'll talk about uh, how we can change the size of the edt so let's jump into the visual studio and then i'll show you there how you can change the um, size through the extension of the of an edt now you can see that we are inside our visual studio right and now we'll uh, click here without uh, code so just click over there and from here just search the edt okay which you want to create the extension so you have to search the agency code so you can uh, go to this extended data type and from there you can also search or otherwise you can uh, use this search bar uh, and then you can uh, click enter and there you will get your edt okay so you can see if you'll open it and if you'll view it in the designer section and if you'll go to the properties of the this particular um, agency code so you have to right click on it and then you have to click the property okay and if you'll go a little bit above and if you'll make it a little bit bigger one then you can see that there you can see a string size is mentioned as a 12 but here we will create one extension so to create an extension you have to click on the uh, edt and then you can click on the create extension in a new project okay so there you have to click and from here you have to give the project name so i'll give the project name as the fleet management extension project and then i'll click it okay project so maybe we i have created with the same name before that's why it's not taking so give it a one and then you can click okay and from here you have to select the model so if your project is working on different pro project and they have created a model then you can select that one but at this point of time i'll just select this tutorial one for the sample tutorial okay and then i have to click okay to create the new project and in the project you will get your extension so you can see that our extension added now if you will right click on it okay so if you right click you can rename it uh, so we should not change the uh, the edt name here so if you have another model and then you can use that one so if if you have any other um, naming convention in your project so you have to uh, use that particular for the model okay now to change the size you have to open it in the designer mode and from here you can see that you can change the country region code uh, but you cannot edit some features uh, some properties of this edt extension okay as you can see that it is also showing the edt action extension okay and if we'll go a little bit above you can see that some properties are in deemed or it means that you cannot edit this gray color but you can 
change the database string size also you can change the display height display width also you can change the help text also you can change the label also you can change the size so as per our scenario we can change we have to change it to 14 okay so as mentioned there we have to change it to 12 to 14 so that's why i am changing here to 14 and if you'll go to the above you can see we cannot change the adjustment we cannot change all this but we can change these properties and then what you have to do you have to just right click on your project and then you have to build your project okay and if your build will project if you will build it and if you will apply it to the production environment it will be changed from 12 to 14 digits of your string size so as you can see that our build process completed okay so i hope you understood how to uh, create an edt extension so this way if you want to extend any other edt then also you can extend those particular edt like the same way so thanks for watching this video see you in the next one till then take care bye bye